Here at the MBL, we provide our clients with a uh, tank of water to perform system integration tests, factory acceptance tests, hardware validation, verification. And water testing here at the facility saves a lot of time in the fact that it's 40 foot of water here, vice loading up a boat, sailing for 12 hours, and then going to 9,000 foot before finding out that something won't work. We have the pilots, we have the ROV, we have lift capabilities. Uh, we can lift up to 40,000 pounds at a time. We have smaller cranes. We have a clear water environment with video and camera footage from any angle that you need. And you can get that real-time feedback of what's going on in the pool. If we need to pull something out of the water, we're able to do that. There's been cases in the past where things have broke underwater and we're able to splash our divers right away to go in and, and pull the equipment out, get it fixed, get a quick turnaround, get it right back in the water. There are many facilities within this one central facility and if um, if we run into a problem that we don't have what we need right away that can be addressed through uh, some of the machine shops or the maintenance facilities here as well. We have engineering services, we have a light manufacturing facility and so we were able to take in uh, jobs, clients, put them in the water and validate, test out their processes, procedures, hardware, equipment prior to going offshore and doing it. Uh, we have this controlled environment where our customers are able to come in, they're able to view the, uh, the testing, and you can watch on our video feeds uh, on the screens in the TCB and actually uh, listen to the audio and the video that's, uh, that's being captured for your test. In addition, anywhere you want that stream or that feed to go in the world, we can pipe it out so people literally can be watching the system integration test going on in the water on their phone or laptop in their house at a ball game, wherever they are, real time. We welcome customers to reach out to us uh, so that we can help uh, provide you with an opportunity to mitigate your risk before you get out and uh, deploy your hardware in the very uh, costly subsea applications or offshore uh, that uh, you're faced with. Well, I think the lessons that we've learned in this facility over the 19 years uh, building the International Space Station and responding to, to emergencies in space and, and doing rapid turnaround response and fixes with that is, is uh, there's no facility like this in the world. And if we can build the space station, you know, what, what can't we do?